Hello everyone, what's going on? So I got into an argument the other day with my little one over tipping. And this tipping thing is getting out of hand in this country. I know things are tough right now. Inflation is high in everyone. But the people you also try to pressure to tip you are also going through the same hard times you are. Now, just because you think they may have more money than you doesn't mean you deserve that money. And even if you, if they do make more money than you, they're not obligated to give you anything. I'll give you an example. My little one made a big deal about me not tip the person at Starbucks. I'm like, uh, hey, little one, I'm not going to tip someone for giving me something I use my money to buy anyway. I, I am not going to tip her because she put the, uh, she put my name on it and put it on the counter. All right. Now I've seen a lot of these so-called Starbucks employees, AKA baristas, <laughs> cry online about terrible working conditions, which, you know, you think a very liberal company like Starbucks would give them the best working conditions. They all let them unionize. But they're still complaining. It's like they won $30 an hour because you, they gave you a cup of coffee. And I was telling my little one, okay, so how come you never tipped the person at McDonald's for doing the same thing? For giving you a soda through the drive through And I left her speechless. So what is the difference? These so-called baristas are doing the same thing fast food record, restaurant workers have been doing, myself included when I was young. So that's been going on for decades. McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts, Burger King, Wendy's. You name any fast food restaurant you want. None of those people ever got tipped. Nor should they. I ain't get tipped. I didn't expect a tip. You know? Could you imagine? Hey, was that chicken the way I made it just right? If so, leave the tip tip jar tip jar out. Yeah, okay. No, I got paid to do what I was supposed to do. Now listen, there are certain people you definitely tip. <coughs> now if someone's delivering your food. No, your, your local Chinese uh, delivery driver, your pizza delivery driver, your DoorDash, your Grubhub person, your Uber Eats. You definitely tip those people. Because they don't make much money. They make their money based on tips. Same thing with uh, Walmart Spark. Well, those people work basically off tips. They don't get paid a lot of money. And because they're independent contractors... They put up all the expense up front. City with Instacart. So you tip those people. Especially when they're doing their shopping for you. And the delivery for you. Your Uber driver, your Lyft driver, your limo driver, your cab driver. Yeah. You tip those people. They try to get you from point A to point B safely. As well as maybe handle your luggage going to the airport. Uh, take your groceries up the stairs if you ask them to. You definitely tip those people. Your barber. Your hairstylist. You tip those people. Especially when they do a good, <coughs> a good job and they take care of you. You tip those people. But this thing about going to like a Carvel ice cream store. And they flip the thing around and ask if you want a tip. You handed me a damn ice cream cone. You ain't getting a tip. Now. If the DoorDash driver picked it up for me and delivered it, he gets tipped. Especially if he delivers it all in one piece and it's nice and cold that I can enjoy it. You tip a person like that.
But even some of these Chinese food restaurants now, they turn around and there's a place for tipping. It's like, you handed me the food. I ate it here. Or I picked it up myself. Why do I need to tip you because I picked up my own food, which I paid you to do? Sorry, you're not getting a tip. Now, if I have you deliver my Chinese food, that driver is getting tipped. I mean, everywhere you go now, tipping please, tipping please, tipping welcome, tipping welcomed. I mean, good luck. If you put a cup of coffee in the counter, don't expect me a tip. People have been doing this for decades. And you want a tip because you, well, you put my name on a Starbucks, uh, whatever it is, a mocha choco flavor of the month, whatever? No. Then I offered my little one, hey, you know, you got some, you got a lot of Christmas money. If you want, you're welcome to tip them. Uh, you, you should see how quickly her mind changed. Dad, how do I, how do I break a 29 bill? I told her, be careful about, be, about being generous with other, with other people's money. Because don't worry, your time is coming soon. Like everyone else's. Now we have a big problem in the society. People want to work. They expect to get paid $40 an hour for about $7 an hour worth of work. And, I, and I'm not having it. And for all these baristas that go on, my poor working conditions. So, so quit your job. If it's so bad, quit and go work somewhere else. Right, they're pro LGBT. They let you wear your disgusting, ugly ass purple hair with your big ass, ugly ass nose ring and your big old earring lobe extension crap they have you wear. What do you complain about? Because I can tell you right now, if, if you can't in a job interview to me in a professional environment just like that, you're not getting hired. Sorry, you're not. I mean, you woke up one day and say, hey, this is going to be cool. You know, and they have to accept who I am. I can accept who you are, but I don't have to hire you either. And I don't have to tip you. Well, you do because you like my nose ring. Yeah, I don't like your nose ring. It makes you look like a raging bull wannabe. So, there are certain services you definitely do tip on. The traditional stuff. For these people that want a tip because they handed me a, a, a cup of coffee. No, sorry. <laughs> you don't deserve a tip for that. It's like you do, you want to get tipped for, base, for basically showing up to work and do what you're supposed to do. Like I said, if your conditions are Starbucks are that bad, you're crying. Go to your union. They're letting you unionize, right? What are you complaining about? Why? Because they don't have tampon, tampons in a men's bathroom for your stupid ass? Oh, boy. Anyway, that's my tip and rant. Oh, the gas station. Remember when we used to have a full-service gas? And the guy would uh, not only fill up your gas, he check your oil, ask you, uh, you clean your windshield or your back windshield. You would tip a guy like that. Also, and if he adds fluids for you so you don't have to get out and do it yeah you definitely want to be a guy like that or if someone comes out of the old Walmart because they have card guys at Walmart or somebody's shop and they help you yeah you can tip them and I know some of these places like Walmart they don't allow you they don't allow their card guys to tip to accept tips. I know that because I used to be one years ago. And a lot of times, no, listen, you'll get me in trouble and you just shove the money down my pocket anyway. I don't care what they say. You get it. All right, thank you. All right, what am I going to do? Tell the customer no? Fight the customer no? Then the best part was about it, I used to ask my old boss, well, what happens if, he, if they give you a tip and they walk away? Well, you're supposed to bring it inside and you're supposed to share it with the other workers. Oh, 
okay, even though I did the work and they didn't? Uh, no. But that's Walmart for you. They use a socialized work environment to uh, excel in capitalism. So that's my end of rant. Where else do you tip? Do you believe in tipping because someone put a cup of coffee in the counter for you? Who else do you tip these days? Is there anyone worth tipping? Or do you really enjoy tipping the person at Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts? If you do, hey, listen. If you have money, you can do what you want. But, as I said, just because things are bad right now, doesn't mean you the were, bad had 123 shows doesn't mean you deserve a tip if you want to get a tip become an uber driver deliver pizzas turn in your sexy barista apron and go instacart shopping that means having to use your own car and use your own labor and use your own supplies. I know. This Gen Z workforce is something else. This millennial workforce is something else. God help the country. But thank God we're gonna this country's gonna exceed, excel despite the crap that has been they've been indoctrinated with for years. Anyway, comments down below. What's your opinion? I'd like to know. Jesus Christ is still king. We'll talk to you later.